Senate Governing Council meeting of Niti Ayuk under the chairman of Prime Minister Narendra Modi has begun in the national capital. Discussion will be held on a variety of subjects with the goal of making India a developed nation by 2047. Seven Chief Minister Arvind Ketrawal of Delhi, Bhagwan Man of Punjab, Mamata Banerjee of West Bengal, K. Chandrasekhar Rao of Telangana, Ashok Gallod of Rajasthan, Nitish Kumar of Bihar and Pinayari Vijayan of Kerala did not attend the meeting of the Niti Ayo. Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, who is on a visit to Japan and Singapore, was also not present at today's meeting. Two days before the scheduled visit of Union Home Minister Amit Shah to the ethnic violence hit Manipur, Chief of Army Staff General Manoj Pandey reached Manipur today to hold meetings with various civil society organizations in Churachandpur district. Defence sources said that the CEO has arrived in Imphal today for a two-day visit. He will visit various districts where he will interact with the local commanders and obtain a first-hand account of the ground situation. Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao today urged Narendra Modi-led Union government to withdraw the ordinance related to the control of administrative services in the national capital. KCR took a jibe at the Prime Minister by labelling him as a merchant of apology and urged him to resign the ordinance similar to the Tree Agricultural Bill and Land Accusation Regulation. Congress President Malikarjun Kage has called a meeting of the party leaders on May 29 to discuss whether the party needs to support Delhi Chief Minister Avin Ketchewal over the centre ordinance to negate the Supreme Court judgment on placing services under the control of the state government in the national capital. According to party sources, Kage has called a meeting of the party leaders to discuss the issue on May 29 at 10.30 a.m. The full-fledged cabinet of the Congress party came into force today as 24 cabinet ministers took oath at the swearing-in ceremony at the Raj Bhavan. Governor Tower Chan Gehalot administered the oath to the newly inducted cabinet minister. Speaking to the reporters before the ceremony, Siddharamiya stated that the allocation of portfolios of cabinet minister will be done by today or tomorrow. Sudan's acting defense minister Yasin Ibrahim Yasin has called on retired soldiers and whoever is possible to carry arms to report to the nearest army base amidst the ongoing conflict. We call on all pensioners of the armed forces, including officer, non-commissioned officer, soldiers and those who are able to carry arms to go to the nearest military base to get armed, Yasin said in a statement, adding that the move was intended to enable those people to defend themselves. Lionel Messi could finally return to FC Barcelona with his contract with PSG ending on June 30. The 35-year-old left his boyhood club in August 22 as the club couldn't come to an agreement with La Liga financial rules. According to reports, Barcelona are once again trying to get Messi back and are doing everything possible for his return. Recently, El Nacional revealed that Messi also won his fellow countryman Angel Di Maria and Leandro Paredes to join him in Catalonia. <laughs>